Wanna be the person that you call up when you're down Wanna be the first who knows all of your deepest secrets Can I be the one who wakes you up before you miss your ride Cause I wanna be close to you And I wanna show you something new You gotta know Put your hand in mine I will be Good morning, everyone. It's morning. our third day in Shant, or actually last day. Uh, we are headed back into the inner city wall of Shan. Shan is uh, an ancient city with an inner city wall, an outer city wall. Wait, so they saw the second wall. Area. So we're way outside in a more modern area. So we're gonna head back in via subway. Oh, there's no like the pork on the bottom. I was on top. You want the pork on the top? What's good? Pork on is interesting. It's like spicy. Well, alright, I guess. Oh, it's too many. Oh my god, there's so much layers. I've never seen a layer. Yeah, the other place that we went to, Jamie, was like. Oh my god, you are doing more twine though. This is amazing. That's really good. It's bakery. I think, this, I think this plus is fine. Yeah, that was amazing. This is so custardy in the middle and milky, and it's so many flaky layers on the outside. It's not that sweet. But the Sichuan corn is not like. So we're back in the Muslim Quarter. Uh, this time is morning time, and uh, oh, we are stopping by lots of stalls and just picking up lots of little bites to eat. Uh, every stall seems to be selling like one specialty item, and they seem to be really different than what was offered the last time we were here, which was at night. And everything has been really cheap, so we're just gonna nosh our way down this street. What'd you get, Paul? Uh, I think it's like a chai pancake with beef. How much was it? Ten, Ten yuan. Oh, that's not bad. Like... No, it's good. Yeah. Plain and crispy. It's not oily at all. Yeah, it looks really good. Ooh, I like that sound. This kind of can fill you up for breakfast. Just one of these. But not for us, for normal people. Obviously. But... It's good. I like the dough. Uh-huh. All the garlic chives are really good. So much garlic chives too. Uh -huh. Loaded with chives. It's like a really hard shell. It's really tender on the inside. Nice piece of ground beef. Spice. Get a bing. This was five RMB. It's good. Mmm. Oh, it's spicy. It's very spicy. Yeah, there was a lot of parsley and cilantro. Was it? Yeah. It was green onions. Oh, it's spicy. 
<laughs> I was taking a bite of the bing, and then Paul pulled out a piece of hair from my mouth. <laughs> it was in my mouth, and then there was a piece of hair. He pulled it out, and I felt the hair go. It was so long. It was like, oh. so long. I was like, I was like, I was like, should I even try to take it out? I was like, I need to, because Jensen's going to be so pissed. Oh, no, but I... Uh, <laughs> I might throw How up. How come we don't have that on tape? <laughs> that was disgusting. Throw that away! <laughs> oh. I told you I was gonna have one each day. Day three. Mmm. Oh, the bread is different. The bread is very chewy, unlike the other ones that we had. The first one we had a really dense, hard bread. The second one was like more of a crispy, deep fried bread. This one's actually very like yeasty, soft, pillowy bread. And the pork is delicious. It's not as fatty. Good. And the bread's like steam, it's soft. We have to stop eating at one point. Beep beep. Oh. Oh. What is this? Oh. It's like a osmanthus cake. It's all flavor. Oh, the sugar. Oh. Chewy. Pretty mild in flavor. Very distinct texture. Yeah. Like, I've never been to a city like this. The food options here are, are endless and ridiculous, but they're also slightly repetitive. They are repetitive, yes. But like there's the so many of food. food places to go to. Up in the drum tower right now. We just saw a cute little show downstairs that comes with your admission, and uh, it's cute up here. The views are really nice. We can see uh, the main square and uh, the bell tower over there in the distance. We gotta push. Let's push it through. Oh my god, look at this. So, we are at Bakewee Market, which is apparently where you go get knockoffs. So, 
everything looks kind of the same. There's lots of stalls and lots of things around. So I guess we're gonna look around. So put your hand in Have this kind of thing. The sourness is nice. It's, I like how moist it is from the steamy. It's not very sweet. It's like a nice appetizer. Mm. This food is actually really good. Northern Chinese, I think, closer to Mongolian style food, but there's a lot of beef. Yeah, we have no rice at this meal. It's all a lot of bread. We got. Yeah, this is definitely the most different meal we probably have had and probably one I never would have imagined having in China, but I really like it. All right, so we just finished dinner um, at this, it's like Mongo Mongolian-esque. We had so much meat. We had so much food. So, uh, so much, but it was it, quite good. It's yeah, different. All right, what was your favorite dish? I don't know, they were all so different and so good. I like the Mongolian cheese bread. That was okay. I liked I don't think the. <laughs> not Mongolian. That was Mongolian. Is that Mongolian cheese? I don't think the Mongolians have cheese. And no yeah, they swear. do. They have yak, yak cheese. It was not yak. Yak cheese. It wasn't yak. It tasted um, like yak. I enjoyed uh, the first bread, the mullet, mu mullet, steamed mullet, steamed bread. mullet oh, bread. You know that what? was quite it good. It tasted like the Indian poha. Yeah, it did actually. Right? That's it good. Did. But a little more sweet and more, yeah, very more structured. Uh, the beef dishes were great. You know, a huge. Portions of beef, beef short ribs. No, a short rib, a pork, pork knuckle, a beef knuckle with it, or yeah, beef knuckle, and we also and had uh, beef ribs, uh, prime rib, prime rib, stewed prime. Both rib. were really good, uh, but what was really interesting is that we had bread with the meal, so no rice, there's no rice. So it was nice to have bread dipping into the meat. Um, what else did I really like? So we didn't eat the tofu dish, didn't like oh, it very much. No tofu, no. It was like a smoke this fermented tofu. Second time in a row, I was like, Ooh. yeah, we gotta we gotta figure out what's up with Xi'an uh, tofu. We're not loving it here. It's funky. Huh. Um, um, but the waiter said it wasn't stinky tofu, which it wasn't, but it was like halfway there. Half. Yeah, maybe. And then um, oh, what the else did we really? Dish. Oh yeah, there was this weird oat flour pasta, like a tubular pasta. Uh -huh. And it got like you know a little bit of chili in there. You so liked it. I thought I it was fine. It. it just didn't feel very Chinese or Asian to me. But that's why like I liked it because it was so different. No, it, it has a Chinese Asian flavors to it because it was just chili oil, some chives, and that's pretty much it. That's true. Chili oil and chives. Uh, overall, the meal was very, very good. Uh, highly would recommend it if you happen to be at. It was one of uh, my most expensive. Meals, yeah, it was. So. It was expensive. This is, in fact, our last night in Xi'an, and we are heading out tomorrow. We really like Xi'an. Yeah, I, I really actually like grew. Xi'an, I grew to like Xi'an. Unexpectedly. Uh, it was much more dynamic than I thought it was going to be. A lot different. It's very, the scale things are ridiculous. You feel like an ant constantly. There's just, everything is massive. The streets are big, the stores are big, the malls are big, everything's big. So you really have a appreciation for... The portions are pretty big too. Portions are big. So anyways, uh, this is it for us tonight in Xi'an. So have a good night. Bye. We'll be back. That hair thing was really gross, by the way. For the record, the hair was disgusting.
是隔壁的泰山。